the West Central Africa Division sends missionaries to the front lines of mission in both the cities and remote, hard-to-reach areas. But mission also happens in Pierre's office at the division headquarters. Pierre is the administrative assistant to the president of the West Central Africa Division. Part of his job is to work behind the scenes, making sure missionaries are placed where they are needed most. And while his efforts usually go unnoticed, Pierre doesn't mind and finds joy in being part of God's work. To me, I think uh, all those who work in uh, the vineyard of the Lord work in various capacities. Some do some work that uh, people can see, but others also work behind uh, the curtains. Even if you're not on the front line for people to see, I think that is not the most important but even in your very small corner, you can contribute to the progress of the Lord. Pierre wakes up early at 4.30 so he can beat the morning rush and get to his office. He answers emails, sorts out itineraries, and applies for visas for missionaries, among other things. I don't see it as a, an ordinary office work. I work in the church of the Lord. Working in the church is a blessing because we are called to work, to be co-workers with the Lord in the salvation of people. And as Pierre goes about his work, he comes in contact with people who need counsel. As a church elder, Pierre prays for the different people who come to his office. Sometimes he gives a word of encouragement to the missionaries who come before they head out to the mission field. Nothing could have been really possible without the people who are walking behind the scenes. And some of us as leaders, we are just here to represent them. And we are the public person. But those who are working beyond the scene in our division are serious workers for the cause of the Lord in our territory. So we are grateful for their life. We are grateful for their talent. We are also grateful for whatever they are doing. And we work as a team. Please pray for Pierre and the team in the West Central Africa Division. Pray that the Adventist Church continues to grow there and that many are reached for the kingdom. Thank you for supporting Mission. My name is Shelley. I'm a massage therapist and I work from home, which gives me the ability to be able to set my own hours and pick who I would like to see and not see. The way that I have used that to witness to others is by just starting right off with asking them, can I pray for you? Because I feel that not, who knows the body better than the one who created it? And so I like to invite Jesus to come in, put his hands on mine, and to guide my hands as I work with them. But it also then opens up the door. They know then I'm a Christian. If they have anything in their hearts that they wanna share, then I get to witness for Jesus. Most people are extremely happy that I'm willing to pray with them and it actually puts them at a ease, especially those that have never had a massage before. They just totally relax then. They're not afraid anymore. I have had this study with this lady. She um, came in. Um, she had received one of my gift certificates and came in for a massage and um, we built up a friendship and over time, I think it was probably about our third or fourth massage when I just felt the Holy Spirit prompting me saying, ask her if she would like to study the Bible. Ask her if she'd like to study the Bible and I'm always trying to dismiss that thought. I don't know why, <laughs> but she's very active in the church that she goes to. But um, I asked her and she was more than happy to study. She told me she didn't really know what was in the Bible and when she reads the Bible, she doesn't understand it. And so we started studying the Bible. In fact, recently we just covered um, the Sabbath and the change of the Sabbath. So she's very, she's under tremendous conviction and she's kind of just toying with those ideas. What do I do, do with this? You know, because she is so active in her church, but yet she knows and sees that the Sabbath is real and that it wasn't changed and that that's God's special day. Oh, she's so appreciative of what I am doing. She just thanks me all the time for showing her things in the Bible that she never knew was there. She used to be able to, you know, just pick it up and try to read it and it would just be just 
empty. She's read through the Bible, I think she said two or three times, and just it just feels just empty to her. She, she said, I want to have a relationship with Jesus the way you have one because I can see it's real and it's alive. And I've never felt or had that relationship with him before. I would say look for every opportunity. The world is full of broken people and they're all around you. Just ask God for the opportunities and I'll tell you what, His Holy Spirit will prompt you every time. And if we ask Him to prompt us and make sure that we hear that still small voice, don't shut it out because He will speak to you. He will tell you, reach out to that person, reach out to this person. Maybe it's just a smile one day. And maybe it's another day, notice that they're down, ask them, hey, are you okay? Do you, would you like to talk or share a promise or something? There's just so many different ways to be able to reach them in wherever you are. It doesn't have to be just in a massage room with people. <laughs>
for cultivating? Do we have a vibrant Bible study ministry that mm -hmm. gets the whole church involved? For harvesting, do we have regular public evangelism? And for preserving that harvest, do we have ongoing discipleship ministries for new members? We need every one of those yes. ministries to be active in order to actually see growth in the way that we want to see growth in our local churches. Amen. So if your church is having a lot of involvement but not seeing much growth, maybe it's a good time to go back and evaluate how are we active. If you can go back to your local church and look at your evangelistic strategy, does it actually follow the model of Christ? Is it getting every member involved in every phase? And if not, reevaluate, make new plans, and may the Lord bless your efforts and grow your church.